Eric, you're thinking it's the Jesuits. I'm going to ask you both so we can beat these guys to somehow work together as a team because I know we're on the same side and I want to win this game because, uh, you know, a lot of people, this whole country is in balance here. and We're talking about a subject that no one else talks about. And so I'm going to ask you that, and hopefully we can beat these guys, whoever they may be. Let me get to my caller, uh, Daryl in Pennsylvania. You're on the Investigative Journal. Yeah, hello. And I just, as a 26-year uh, veteran of uh, the intelligence community, something really bothers me, and that is, is that we have so many 33-degree Masons and uh, the Papal Knights of Malta being in charge or being assistant directors of such as the FBI and the CIA, Five CIA, CIA chiefs were all Knights of Malta, William Donovan, John McCone, William Casey, William Colby, and George Tennant. And Michael made the comment, well, if someone's from a Rotary Club or something, that's no big deal. But these guys aren't from Rotary Clubs. They're from organizations whose loyalty is not to the American Constitution and the American people. And so my question to both of you would be, uh, to both of the guests, is uh, should anybody have dual loyalties? I don't want Zionist Israel uh, Americans holding any top key positions, but I also don't want any high-level Freemasons and Papal Knights of Malta being all over the intelligence community and the fingers of power in America whose loyalty is not to the U.S. Constitution and the American people. What do you folks think of that? Okay. Well, go ahead, Michael. Uh, can you hear me? I'm having a the phone. Can you hear me? Yes, go ahead. Okay, yeah. I, uh, we I have was... about two minutes, so leave a minute for Michael. You know the, the game plan. Oh, this is Mike. Uh, you mean Eric. Yeah, Eric, Okay, I'm no, I, I agree 100%. I don't think there should be dual loyalty. I've never seen it convincingly proven to me, though, that members of the Knights of Malta are dual loyalists. I know William Colby, who was murdered a few years ago. Since you're in the intelligence community, you know full well that uh, the word in the intelligence community is that he was murdered by the Zionists. And, in fact, a very good friend of mine uh, had just set Bill Colby up uh, at a meeting at the Watergate Hotel to uh, begin working for uh, Arab interests uh, against the Zionists, and he was murdered for that. And uh, so uh, I, uh, I say uh, the Zionists are the real power. The, the Jesuits have very little power. Okay, go ahead, Derek. Uh, final minute. I would say as long as the Pope claims to have universal temporal power over all the nations, and that he is ultimately the one behind all high-level Freemasonry, which includes the Zionists, that we cannot have a true Republican free government at this time until they're dealt with. Okay, that's going to conclude. We're all out of time. I want to thank again my two guests, Michael Collins Piper and Eric John Phelps, for being on the show. I apologize to a whole bunch of callers I didn't get to, but we will hopefully do it again. And until then, until tomorrow at 1 p.m. Central, good afternoon. All right, thanks, Greg. Thanks.